So in this video, we're going to look at a compound percentage where we have a continued decrease. So to make a cup of tea, you need to add boiling water at 100%. It loses 9% of its temperature per minute. What will be the temperature after four minutes? So the multiplier for a 9% decrease is one, which is 100%, take away nine over 100. So what you have left is 0 0.91 of the original amount after every minute. So after one minute, the amount left, the temperature, or we're looking at the temperature this time, will be the initial temperature, which is 100, times 0 0.91. Now, I'm not really interested in working that out. After two minutes, that will be 100 times 0 0.91. Again, you multiply it by 0 0.91. This is a compound percentage decrease so this is going to be 100 times 0 0.91 squared and therefore after four minutes we can work out that the temperature will be 100 times 0 0.91 to the power of four and therefore where this is the initial temperature the initial quantity of this in this case was temperature this is the multiplier for a nine percent decrease and the four, the power there, stands for the time period. The time period in this case is minutes. Note, to decrease a group given quantity by R percent in N equal time periods, the multiplier is one minus R over 100 to the power of N. So going back to our problem so working this actually out on our calculator we get 68.574 carrying on normally in uh, IGCC you need to round to three significant figures so it becomes 68.6 degrees C okay so this has been a video to show you how to do compound percentages when you actually have a decrease I hope you've understood and I thank you very much for watching